Reaction to the strikes from Utah's all-Republican congressional delegation has been somewhat varied. Political specialist Lad Egan's here with us. You've been out and about, reaching, making yeah. contact with the folks in D.C. What are they saying tonight? Well, Dave, some say that they want Congress to have more input on what the future is there in Syria, while others are praising the sudden military action from President Trump. In just the last hour, I spoke with Representative Jason Chaffetz, who said the president showed the world that America has a new approach. The world did not believe Barack Obama because President Obama didn't uphold the red line that he set. I think this got the world's attention, and it, and it demonstrated that uh, President Trump is, is willing and able to take immediate, decisive uh, action. When I asked Mr. Chaffetz if he support, is supported ground troops in Syria, he responded that an international coalition needs to be built, but that he's not taking anything off the table. Meantime, Congressman Chris Stewart, who is a former Air Force fighter pilot, told KSL News Radio today that the airstrike sent a very clear message. This is a proper response that had, I think, the proper uh, reaction from Bashar al-Assad. He's going to be thinking about this again, and we did it with minimum collateral damage and, in fact, hardly any loss of life at all. Meantime, Senator Orrin Hatch said that he strongly agrees with President Trump's statement that no child of God should ever suffer such horror that's in response to today, Tuesday's deadly chemical attack. He also said in a statement to KSL that those who commit war crimes, especially those who use weapons of mass destruction against their own people, must be held accountable. Senator Mike Lee said President Trump's military strategy needs to be debated, saying the Constitution says that in order to declare war, you have to get congressional approval. And then Representative Mia Love also weighing in today, striking a similar tone, saying that going forward, we must have a clear, comprehensive strategy in place that is approved by Congress. And finally, Congressman Rob Bishop also commenting on America's response, saying the images from Syria this week have wrenched the hearts of the world and the U.S. has put its foot down. U.S. officials say the situation is already extremely serious and warn that President Trump has not ruled out any further use of military force. But definitely, Dave, the reaction from those in Congress that they do want to have some input on what the strategy is. I remember waking up this morning, getting to my Twitter feed, yeah. and, well, what's happened now? You expect something to happen next. In the days to come. And with right. the weekend, we'll see what happens there in Florida, what decisions may come. Okay. Political specialist, Lad Egan. Thanks, Lad. Thanks. Ashley. Another voice.